Welcome back, friends. Ken talking here, and welcome to our 100th subscriber special. And 100 subscribers may not be a lot in the YouTube world, but for a small time guy like me, I am very appreciative to anyone who has hit that subscribe button, takes time to make a comment. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to check out some of the interesting planets in the region. Uh, this is just a standard uh, rocky planet. That's the basic kind of style planet uh, that are here. But we have one relatively close to us. Uh, it's in the K-class star and it is a Earth-like terrestrial planet. So let's go check this out. We're going to go see what a, a habitable world uh, will look like. Oops. You set your target. Engage. Now we're going to go check this out. But again, yes, thank you anyone who has taken the time to comment, like, uh, and especially subscribe. Uh, breaking that 100 subscriber milestone uh, means a lot to me. Uh, so thank you again from the bottom of my heart, anyone who's taken that time, uh, and continue on this journey. And anyone who's seen our last video, uh, the super massive black hole, I want to say there has been some patches in the game. Uh, that was the I'm not even going to pronounce it. If you know it, uh, you know it. Uh, Strata A plus, basically the center of the galaxy. Previous in the version, it was 50 light years off uh, the center of the galaxy. That has now been corrected. So anyone who's seen that one, uh, welcome to the center of the universe. And when we actually got to the center of the universe and there's nothing there, that has now been fixed. What is that there? I don't know what that means. Probably nav data, some sort of little bug. I found out a good speed as well when uh, doing some orbits, so you can kind of get a good little feel of it. But here we go. This is what an Earth-like world is look like. And we're going to set up our self-induced or self-made uh, orbit speed. Go about. 11% on the faster than light drive. And there we go. This is an Earth like planet. Can't wait to go and explore more. Uh, we will be able to land on planets. It'll be great to see uh, what kind of environments they are. A little lake down there. some first contact missions. Definitely looking forward to it. So there was definitely some patches into the last uh, Friday. Patches come out every Friday uh, from the developer. Uh, but let's go see uh, some of what they have done. way down the B deck. Uh, this door is one of them. Uh, they have done a lot of work of putting on the foundations of the floor, a lot of the poles, so you'll end up walking and run into it on the floor. Uh, but this door is now a new insert. Uh, these 
walls have now been actually added. They don't have the insulation anymore. Uh, but if you hit I in the game, you can see what the actual panels look like, and you can really see all the welds and how uh, the structure is actually supposed to be. So these would be where you screw in the floor tiles uh, right here. Uh, actually look that up. Done a lot into here. It's kind of wraps it around. Uh, and this is one of the cabins that is actually going to be for the VIPs, so probably like the captain's cabin, etc. I'll turn the flashlight here. Uh, probably like an office space uh, living area here. These will have windows that go uh, to the outside. They are currently not functioning uh, just because of the demo. Uh, I'll probably get stuck here. Uh, yep. Uh, bed where it will be, and then the, the bathroom there. Uh, this is the only one with lights on right now. Uh, as you can see, we can go around here. There are six cabins. None of the lighting effects are here, and none of the map as well. So it just loops around all the way around B deck. And there is a. Oh, that may have been removed. There used to be a computer core room uh, in the center as well. Uh, they have some new kind of plants in here. Some of the deck plating is removed all around. Uh, they're just slowly working on it as well. And a lot of the engineering deck is uh, kind of closed off, as you can see. Fun little missing items here. And this uh, covering the map is still there. But here are all the uh, tiling. You can show where it is. Yeah, lots of work coming up. They do a little bit uh, every week. Uh, whoop, all these tiles, you get, you get stuck on them quite well. But that's all right. But let's go take a look at another planet in the region to kind of give you an idea. We'll go pop over to a gas giant. Yeah, we're in this system here. We'll go check out a gas dwarf. Sorry, my crayon corrected. Yeah, and this page still doesn't uh, fit properly, and the filter area uh, does not show very well. Uh, but we'll take a quick little pop. Over to here. Just so you can see the, the differences. Go into the outside view. fancy. That's really nice. Okay. They're definitely going to be adding a lot more of the models uh, for planets. Self turned on orbits, orbital speed. Some planets are a lot bigger than others. I feel I could go to one more percent and you just whip around a lot more. Definitely like this more. Ooh, got a little bit of, oh, there are rings. Look at that. That's amazing. Let's turn away and go down. See if we can get a little bit better look at these rings. That is gorgeous. Look at that. That is 
is super cool. I'll just speed up just another percent. There we go. Just to get us a little bit more speed to see if we can get a little more angle on this. Where's the sun? That's not too far away. Good direction. With a little bit of the uh, waves from the fast run light drives, it looks like these rings are spinning. That is super cool. Let's go check out one more in this solar system. Let's try this one. We'll send to helm. Scan it, see if anything new pops up. I doubt it. A lot of these are pretty generic. Yeah, that's okay. That is okay. And we'll go. Oop, nope. Use sensor target. I always got to do use sensor target first, a lot in the coordinates. Engage to go to that new one. This one is any different in its style and a uh, little bit. A little bit. Looks like it is. I could be wrong. My memory from five seconds ago could be <laughs> messing with me. still. Really nice. I don't think this one has any rings, so that is pretty pretty neat. Excellent. Let's take a little quick look on the scanners here and see if we can find anything else of note. Uh, we'll go bunch of M-class stars. I still have not found you an O-class star. I think we're going to have to go for another multi-day trip. Let's, let's look at that one G-class star. Let's see if we can scan. Nope. The joys of this venue, because sometimes it will Uh, refresh because you're still it's still loading all of that Let's see if we get lucky with a uh, inhabitable planet rocky world probably not let's find a glass giant we'll go through the list here right here we'll scan this target send it to helm shouldn't be too far we'll see the difference between a gas dwarf Dwarf and it got giant. And this should not be too far. We'll do a prep this time. Use sensor data for light years. Engage. Ooh, I thought I seen another nebula. Once we turn, we'll go out here. Yeah, right up there. I believe that is actually the one in the center of the galaxy we flew through last episode. And it's still pretty cool that you can see it so far away. So while we wait for the few seconds, we're going to go to the galaxy map. And so we're right in the center. Earth is about here. And I believe all of the O-class stars are kind of in the outer region. So we're gonna go probably have to do some long-term flying again, long distance flying. Uh, and yeah, just kind of see how, how the game keeps going.
See if you can tell the difference in scale between the gas giant and the dwarf. Uh, just how they are. Ooh, that is. Oh yeah, you can you can definitely tell that scale. Let's get this disengaged. Crank up to about 15, probably. Start cranking it here. This is definitely gorgeous. Yeah, 15 does not seem too, too bad. Let's go check out the pole. All the blue. If you can't tell from my wall choice color, I love the color blue. That is pretty neat. I'm also very curious what the science model will be to. Is that the same nebula? I believe the same nebula I was looking at. Uh, but what I mean about that is how your science lab would work. Like what kind of research are you able to do uh, when you're looking at planets, looking at different aliens and stuff like that. It's going to be a really fun to explore all the different roles again, like engineering. I'm looking forward to science. I'm looking forward to uh, even definitely tactical uh, once we get some ship on ship combat. But uh, yeah, that covers it today. A little short uh, mission. Uh, thank you for tuning in again. Thank you so much again for subscribing for all of those who have. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Give me some feedback and we'll keep uh, exploring uh, Starship Simulator, and it keeps growing up, so thank you for tuning in, and have a great day.